Traditionally at handovers of power, there are photo ops and good wishes before the cameras, like here in 2016. While behind the scenes, aides are frantically packing up boxes and going through classified documents. After similar revelations concerning classified papers from Joe Biden's vice presidency, Mike Pence's lawyer sent a letter to the National Archives stating a small number of classified papers had been found at his Indiana home. With ongoing investigations into Biden and Trump potentially mishandling classified files and the Department of Justice involved in the search of Pence's home, the attorney general refused to comment on the latest find. And the White House spokesperson was also mum on the issue. But Republicans and Democrats alike are pointing fingers. When Mike Pence found me, the first thing he did was call, provide him over. He's called uh, Comer on the oversight and say, I want to work because I want to make sure this never happens again for many places. Unfortunately, the president, Biden, won't give us any information. And his is a little different. For Democrats, it's Donald Trump's trove that stands out, with some 300 documents that were seized by the FBI after Trump refused to turn them over. There's a huge difference between how the president handled it and how uh, President, former President Trump handled it. One cooperated fully with the authorities, the other uh, stonewalled for over a year. While markedly different in the details, the added discovery of Pence and before it Biden documents complicates the perception of the ongoing criminal investigation into how Donald Trump handled documents after leaving office, all the while raising questions in both parties over how classified material is handled in the United States.